Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. This is Asad Yaqub and guys, there is an immigration program, Canadian immigration program, where you can even survive if you get four band in IELTS. Number one. Number two, if your age group is between 21 to 49, still you are eligible for that. This is the immigration program where if you have two years experience, you get 10 points for your experience, right? So I'm going to give you all the details. Watch this video till the end. If you qualify for this immigration program, believe you me, you will reach Canada without any problem. And by the way, out of 100 marks, you need very low marks for this immigration program as well, right? So this immigration program is called Self-Employed Persons Program. This is Self-Employed Persons Immigration Program and I'm going to give you all the details. Watch this video till the end. I'll give you an email ID as well where you can send your CV and they will evaluate you and tell you whether you qualify for this or not. Now, as far as this program is concerned, the program is aimed at a wide range of foreign nationals working in the arts and sports. So, this program is for arts and for sports such as music teachers, painters, illustrators, filmmakers, freelance journalists or athletes. If you play cricket, football or any other game like that. It also includes those working behind the scenes like choreographers, means dancers, set designers, coaches and trainers, right? So, as far as this program is concerned, let me tell you what is self-employed. Self-employed is a person who creates his own opportunity, who doesn't work in the office. He doesn't have to go to the office. He creates his own opportunity. That person is actually called a self-employed person. In order to qualify for this, candidates must demonstrate that they have at least two years of relevant experience right either by taking part in cultural or sporting activities at an international level now this is something tricky it should be at an international level means you worked in some different country which means that they are internationally known or perform at the highest level in their discipline or now, second category, by being self-employed in the field of cultural or sporting activities. Even if you're not internationally known, again, you can qualify if you are going to be self-employed in the field of cultural or sporting activities. Okay, now there is another thing. That's what they say. They say that uh, candidates must also be able to contribute to what the federal government calls the enrichment of Canadian culture and sport and make a significant contribution. When you apply for this immigration, they just see, will you be able to make significant contribution or not? Now, guys, we move on and I'm going to tell you about the trade list, about marking criteria, about passing marks, and how to get those passing marks. Let's just go on. Uh, by the way, the categories which they offer for this, they say to qualify for business immigration to Canada under the self-employed persons program, an applicant must demonstrate that he or she has relevant agricultural, artistic, or athletic experience. So there are three categories, agricultural, artistic, or athletic. I'll explain them all. That will allow the applicant to be successfully self-employed in Canada and to make a significant contribution to his, to his or her field. Okay, now we just go ahead and I explain all the things in detail. I'm sharing all these links with you, by the way. 
just go to description box and you will find the website the links and everything all right now okay so uh, i mean after this they just say eligibility requirements for the self employed persons program the first eligibility requirement is foreign national must first meet the government of canada's definition of self employed person in order to be considered eligible for assessment number 1 Number 2 self employed person is defined as someone with relevant self employed experience in a cultural or athletic activity so these are the categories you can just see them as well like librarians conservators archivists authors and writers they have the chance editors journalists professional occupations in public relations and communication translators producers directors choreographers and related occupations they have the chance conductors the music conductors okay musicians and singers they have the chance but they should be well known musicians and singers dancers actors and comedians and paint painters sculptors and all that and they have photographers so there is a list you can go through this list on your own Let's talk about the point system and the passing marks and how you get those points. Selection factors, experience, total marks for experience they are thirty-five, right? And uh, minimum two years experience required. So I'll tell you about experience in detail as well. That is actually next age. Age will give you ten marks in total. So. of uh, 35 marks for experience 10 marks or 10 points for age for education 25 marks ability in english or french 24 marks adaptability now what is adaptability if you have someone in canada if you lived in canada if you did a job in canada if you've got canadian experience if you got a blood relation in canada right if your wife is qualified right this is what they call adaptability and there are 6 points for that total points are 100 and guess what pakistani and indian and punjabi exam system passing marks guess how many passing marks out of 100 35 see that in our countries 33 marks uh, the one who gets 33 marks he is considered uh, passed in the exam but over here you need only 35 and by the way if you get all the marks out of experience that is 35 you may qualify but again the thing is if you fall under one of the categories then and once you fall then no, no problem let's talk about uh, your experience if you get 2 years experience got 2 years experience you will be given 25 marks and i told you for experience there are actually uh, i mean the marking criteria for experience is 35 marks in total right okay after your experience they have another marking criteria that is 3 years of relevant experience then 25 Four years of relevant experience, then you will get thirty points, and five years of relevant experience, you are going to get thirty-five points for that. So this is all about your experience, and if you get five years experience, you qualify thirty-five points, guys. Yeah, let's go on. Age in other Canadian immigration programs. age is the main problem especially you are if you are above 40 so age is a serious issue but over here if you fall between 21 and 49 years of age you get maximum 10 points okay and total points how many 35 you can evaluate yourselves as well between 21 to 49 10 points uh, below 21 8 points and uh, after 49 you get 8 points if you are 51 you get 6 points if you are 52 you get 4 points like that now the third important factor is education and maximum points for education they are 25 if you've got master degree or phd then you get 25 points if you got two or more university degrees at the bachelor's level you get 22 points and if you got three year diploma certificate 
or at least 15 year of full time or of uh, yeah full time or full time equivalent study then you get 22 marks and for graduation like in our country we've got two year graduation for that you get 20 marks i mean you need 35 in total and this is all about it next language ability over here even if you get three or four band in IELTS that will do because out of 100 you only need 35 points to qualify so IELTS or even without IELTS even it's going to work out for you so this is their marking criteria then for adaptability if your spouse is educated if your spouse has got uh, master degree then you get five points if graduation degree graduate then four points and it's just like that okay so this is the whole thing now listen what to do first of all you must go through the links which i have given in description then there is an email id you can find it in description also just type a mail to that email id with your cv that this is my cv do i qualify for this immigration program which is called self-employed person program self-employed persons program so you can just ask them if you qualify then rest is just a piece of cake Okay guys, thank you very very much. I also teach IELTS online. By the way, for this immigration, you don't need IELTS, okay? I teach IELTS online and this is federal immigration. You can go to any part of Canada. It's not provincial, it's federal. All right, I teach IELTS online. If you want to join my online IELTS classes, my WhatsApp number is given. You can contact me for that. Asad Yaakov truly wishes you all the best with your Canadian immigration. Take good care of yourselves. Allah Hafiz.